Okay, we're back now and we're going to illustrate the principle behind the wind turbine. I have um, the voltmeter and the ammeter again. And I have the wind turbine here. Uh, the basic mechanism of the wind turbine is you have some blades. Of course, you have a source of wind. And as the wind is coming, it's going through the blades and the blades are turning. You can see back here, there's the basic motor function of the motor here. And this time we're using the motor in the opposite way. We have mechanical energy or wind energy in this case. The wind energy is being converted into mechanical, which is rotating the shaft here. And uh, that shaft is rotating this and that's converted into electrical energy. So you're, changing, you're starting from wind energy, converts to mechanical, converts to electrical. And now we have a reading of 150, about 115 millivolts that is producing 150 millivolts and 68 milliamps. Now again, if this was a lab, we would try detailed stuff with this. We would try changing the distance, we would try changing the wind speed, we would try changing the number of blades, the angles of the blades, all of that. So we'll try a couple things here. Uh, we'll try, we go to a lower speed. And of course, we should find that it's gonna spin less, and the voltage went down to 86, 87 millivolts, and the current went down to 50 milliamps. So, as we logically knew, the, the as the change as you change the velocity, as you lower the velocity, the voltage should lower. And there's a function there. In the lab, we would exactly find out what's the correlation of the voltage to the wind speed. The other thing we could try out is distance. If I go closer, now let me increase the wind speed to uh, 10. And of course that should change it too. Now the voltage is 114 millivolts. If I start increasing the distance slightly, I'm, now I'm increasing the distance. It seems like for a while the voltage goes up, goes up, now then it starts to drop. 111, 112, 116, 112, 113. It seems like it's the correlation is not very straightforward. Of course, if I go way, way far, I should find that it drops. But when the distances were close, it kind of went up and down, went up and down, fluctuated. But if I go way far, the wind should die down and it should go down. The other thing we could try here is the blade angle. So we could uh, loosen this and try and say, what if the blades were more straight, perpendicular to the wind? what would happen, right? We're asking questions. This is the, the scientific method, right? Ask questions, make hypothesis. What would happen? So what would our hypothesis be here? Well, the wind would probably be stopped more and it would be not as many would, wind particles, air particles would go through. Therefore, it's probably gonna rotate slower and produce less energy. So let's tighten this. Go back to the original distance. Turn this on. Well, of course, as our logic said, it's not turning, right? So if I give it a little bit of an angle. So you see, that means when you build a wind turbine, I gave a little bit of an angle to about two, three of them now, you see? So when you're building a wind turbine, that angle is very important. You don't want to make it too large, you don't want to make it zero at all. Now if you go to the voltage and you see it's only 65 millivolts, you see? So that proves that the angle is really very important. The other thing we can test, let's see how this changes things. We could test and take
Okay, so now I'm gonna try the the three blades. You can see this slower. If I go down to smaller speeds, of course it's gonna be smaller. So now with with this model of the wind turbine and with the angles that I have, we showed that so this one is a 45 millivolts, so it is less. So we showed that uh, with this model, six was better than three. And again, we could try here four, probably the best ones are three, four, or six, and then try and see which ones are the better one. So I went and grabbed a different model of the wind turbine. It looks like this here, and it doesn't have the gears in the back, and I want to test that uh, three blade to six blade relationship and see if we get a different result. So um, we're going to turn this on. This one is actually going to spin quite faster than the other model, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to produce more voltage. We'll look here, it has 24 millivolts, which is less than the voltage produced by the other one because the other one has gears that it uses connected to the generator. And then over here you have 13 milliamps. Okay, now we could try and see what happens when I have six blades on this model and then compare the six versus the three dependents. So we can uh, put this back, loosen this again. Okay, so now I have the all six Placed and then I've, gave, I've given them some blade angle. Now let's see the comparison. Now we have 38 millivolts, which, which is more. So you could tell visually it is spinning faster and it is creating more voltage. So even for this model, at this distance and with these wind conditions, the six blades is producing more voltage than the three. So these are the kinds of things you would have to consider. Three versus four versus six. See what happens. Different models compare them, compare different uh, blade angles. So this is very interesting. This is one of the uh, very important new alternate methods of creating energy. Thanks.